On today, a cancer treating doctor updated Princess Catherine's health condition and revealed some latest developments surrounding her battle with cancer after two months of treatment since her initial preventive chemotherapy in February. The princess, so famous for unfailing poise, spoke off initially keeping the diagnosis private. The head of oncology for the NHS, Professor Peter Johnson, said the princess's brave decision would save many lives. By saying that her abdominal surgery last January was successful, but after further tests, her medical team discovered that she had cancer. Although she did not clarify what type of cancer she had, her speech, which lasted just over two minutes, generated all kinds of reactions and put to rest the dozens of rumors surrounding her health and notable absence from public life. Now, according to a source revealed the lead oncologist overseeing Princess Catherine's care spoke exclusively to select media outlets to provide an update on her condition while maintaining the utmost respect for the princess's privacy. This may range from 1 month to 12 months for cancer therapy. Make sure you don't miss this oncologist's explanation. Is it abnormal to discover cancer after undergoing surgery? Princess Catherine's response to treatment has been promising. This doctor remarked she had exhibited a positive attitude and unwavering determination which are essential factors in combating this disease. According to Dr. Yin Fong, an orthopedic surgeon at the Community of Hope Cancer Hospital in Southern California, the discovery of cancer following an operation of a non-cancerous condition is very uncommon, yet it does happen once in around 4% of such procedures. This doctor emphasized the importance of transparency in such matters especially considering the public's interest and concern. Princess Catherine has shown remarkable resilience in response to treatment. Since her diagnosis, luckily, her cancer was detected early. While the journey ahead remains challenging, we are encouraged by the progress. We've observed the princess's diagnosis and subsequent treatment have been closely guarded secrets, with the royal family opting for discretion and privacy throughout the ordeal. According to Fong, that 4% figure reflects a person who will be transported to the hospital for surgery for what has been determined to be a benign illness. Examples of such procedures include removing a gallbladder or cyst inside the ovaries when someone's so young. Is it odd to realize that they have cancer? There's a low incidence of cancer among young people. Princess Catherine is 42 years old. We're extremely saddened when young individuals are diagnosed with cancer. However, it's also true that they're the ones with the disease who overcome the disease. The Princess of Wales' revelation about her cancer treatment has prompted many in the United Kingdom to seek medical checkups. The same happened after Charles III announced his prostate surgery. However, Dr. Patel's decision to disclose some details reflects a shift towards openness regarding the Princess's health, possibly aiming to alleviate speculation and provide reassurance to well-wishers. According to doctor, Princess Catherine has been undergoing a comprehensive treatment regimen tailored to her specific type of cancer. This regimen includes a combination of chemotherapy, targeted therapies, and other supportive interventions aimed at maximizing efficacy while minimizing side effects, while it's premature to make definitive statements about the outcome. In a touching video recording in the gardens of her home in Windsor, Catherine's voice cracked at the mention of Prince George. Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis, whom she shares with Prince William. She spoke boldly to the nation and the world, with a sea of yellow daffodils behind her. The choice of flowers was deliberate and meaningful. The daffodil, the national emblem of Wales, and a symbol of support for those affected by cancer, underscored her message of solidarity with those affected by this disease. This flower, also one of the first to herald spring, represents the end of bleak winter days and is a symbol of hope. This same symbolism may have led Elizabeth II to include daffodils in her iconic speech during the coronavirus crisis in 2020. Returning to the present, the princess smiled and expressed her daily strength and focus on healing. She reiterated her support for those battling cancer, urging them to keep faith and hope, and assuring them that they are not alone.